this is Sherry with CPR Craft Pray Repeat and I wanted to share with you some little projects I made I am calling them bag buddies and this is the first one that I made and I do a tutorial and it will be up tomorrow for him but I do alter this a little bit for the other ones because this rim right here is a little narrower than the actual bubble so I had to alter the pattern a little bit to make this wider and this is a file from treasure box designs and it is actually their tic tac box and I just made it without the box and I used this and I'm not I have no idea can you see how dimensional the little bubble is I have no idea where it came from I've had it for a long time and it came in a package that looked like this there's no information on it whatsoever and um, so but I I don't I hate this because I don't know you know if I can get any more but I did notice that Tim Holtz came out with something that looked very similar he came out with something the other day that looked like um, this that he uses for a snow globe die so I'm thinking it's really dimensional you know like his little tummy is here so I will be checking into them and trying to get a set so that I can see and I'm hoping that it's the same size because the inside diameter of this little bump is an inch and a half so I just made my circle an inch and a half on the inside so that way I knew that I had the right size so when I if, if I'm able to get some of his I will definitely be trying them out and I'll let you know what size I have to make them at but any of those little cups that you have you could use it doesn't have to be you know this little fat chubby one but I am using these to decorate um, gift bags so I thought it was it was fine that they were all puffy and chubby and so here's the next one and this one this one I just added snowflakes and a little bit of snow so he really doesn't make a lot of noise I wish I had added more stuff to him I'm so used to doing the shakers where you have to be careful not to add a lot of dimension but with this I had tons of room so with the with the um, reindeer I was able to add a lot of goodies in there and so he makes a lot of noise I used glossy accents on his red nose I used my white um, Signo Uniball Signo Broad Gel pen for the eyes and the little accents on him and I used my black and my white titanium white pan pastels for the little glint in the eyes there I chalked everything I or I inked everything I chalked their cheeks and then here's the next one and this one is a little gingerbread and I just used glossy accents on the white here for the icing I thought it gave him um, a little bit more character and I really like that so here's the gingerbread now all of these like I said are uh, part of the Tic Tac box and then here's Santa and the only thing about this part is because I put this black band over here now I knew that the band that came with the design was not going to be big enough or long enough to go over this so I just made it longer and then I trimmed it off to what I needed and you can't tell which really stinks but I cut little gingerbreads out and so he's got gingerbread cookies in his tummy I'll zoom you in here a little bit tighter but I don't know that you're going to be able to see them but they're right there right there are his little gingerbread cookies and um, so I put gingerbread cookies in his tummy and he rattles really good I love that and I'm really tickled with how these turned out and so I'm going to scoot those ones up and bring in the next one which is the snowman and I put some white snowflakes 
and white seed beads and then some red and green um, sequins for his tummy and I thought the snowflakes were really cool for his tummy and what I did let me see, let me move this out of the way for a minute and pull this back in because I want you guys to see this okay if you look here the white or the black circle is not as wide as the brown one these containers had a wider lip so I had to trim it off on this one but this and this was the first one I did so when I realized that I made this circle part wider so that it covered the entire lip of the little plastic piece and I like that much better and I will probably redo or do another one of the penguin and when I do him it, my husband's idea which is what got the cookies thing started for Santa was that I should have put um, little fish in his tummy so when I make the next one with the wider circle I will probably be putting some little fish inside his tummy because I thought that would be really cute and then here is the last one now it's the same it's the same um, I'm trying to make think of my words here it's the same circle and everything I just used the head of a doggy off of a different file and it's still a treasure box designs file but I don't think she has it anymore because I couldn't find the exact one on her um, in her shop but she does have other ones I think they're called bobble bobble buddies or bobble pups or something and um, so she's got something really similar and I'll zoom you in here again because I want you to see this one you can see much better I've got little um, little bones in his tummy and I was so tickled I was like oh my gosh these are um, they were back with buttons but they they have no shank on them so I don't know why they were with the buttons but so there's five of them in there in different colors two dark brown um, two light brown and then one uh, like a cream and so they show up really good and then I just cut a a bow that I had from Cricut Access and put it uh, up here and put some white polka dots to give him or her the actually I used I chose my collars based off of D from Elegant Embellishments she has a dog and her name is Honey Marie so Honey Marie was my model and uh, that's where I chose the collars from to to do the little dog because I was trying to mimic um, Honey Marie so here are these three and then here are these ones right here and I really had a blast they were so much fun to make and I think what I'm gonna do like I said is I'm going to put them on um, I'm gonna get some different gift bags and I want to find some craft collared gift bags to decorate and I'm going to use these ones for sure these three here on a craft collared bag and then I'll use these ones on different collars which actually I'm, I know for a fact I'm going to use him on a red one because I've already started decorating that bag and so he'll go on that but I want craft ones for these ones and I just thought they would really any plain gift bag would look absolutely adorable with one of these little guys hanging on it and so I was just really tickled with how they turned out and it was really easy to do if you've done any kind of shaker you can do these and I will have a tutorial up tomorrow showing you how I put this little guy right here together and that's it if you have any questions leave them below I will put a link for treasure box designs in the uh, description below but I cannot link the exact file because there's no way to open that file up it just has a little tag below it that says add to cart so I will put a link for um, you know for treasure box designs and then you'll have to go to their little search bar which is clear at the bottom of their page and then put in tic-tac boxes and when you do that 
um, they have two different files, but they'll both show up, but this will be one of them. And like I said, you can use the, you know, the, the basic design of this and then add any kind of top or any kind of little head and paws that you want. So if you have a, a dog or a cat or a specific teddy bear or anything like that that you like, which actually a lot of them have this head piece right here, this design right here for bears. And if you put two little uh, circles here, you've got little bear ears and... You could use these paws or these little paws for the little paws for the bear. And you can have a bear. So, I mean, they're really easy to, you know, customize to do whatever it is that you want, you know, them to do and, and look like. So, you know, don't limit yourself to strictly, you know, this file. You can make them any way you want with any of the heads from any characters from any SVG files you have. Imagine doing this with, if you're like a Disney fan, oh, imagine doing, oh, my mind just racing now. Imagine putting Mickey Mouse's head on top of the body here. You know, you just wouldn't add the little feet, but then you'd add Mickey, Mickey gloves because they have Mickey gloves and you could Add the, you know, the little gloves right there for Mickey Mouse. Add a Minnie Mouse, a Donald, a Daisy, you know, Goofy. You could do them all. That would be adorable. Oh, I may have to try that. <laughs> oh, I like that idea. Because my my daughter-in-law and my grandbaby, they love Disney. So that would be a really cute thing to add to their packages. I may have to give that a try. All right, everybody, I have rattled on for nearly 12 minutes, so I will get on here now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And I will be putting up a tutorial tomorrow on how I put the little penguin together. All right, everybody, remember to practice your CPR, craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.